Hello, my name is Mira and I am a lore keeper in one of Yogg-Sothoth's libraries and today I wanted to share with you the story of the Hush Fashion class from Black Desert. And I apologize deeply if I fumble and pronounce some things incorrectly because I, uh, yeah. We're gonna start with his secession questline text and then go into the awakening questline text. Black Star shall deliver us all to paradise. We stand to guard against the darkness till the day we breathe our last. This mantra was the ever-present constant in their lives, along with the unforgiving shifts and tides of the war waging against Crimson Sands. Three years had passed since the Black Star fell in the far west, and paradise was nowhere in sight. Everything the elders foretold never came to be, while the endless stream of monsters crawling out of the dark pits showed no signs of abating. Hear me, for I am the curved blade of all, the master who shall unleash his raging winds and sands. For only Hishashin could cut through the chaos. By faith alone, he had overcome the gruesome training and the grief of returning from battles where countless of his comrades had fallen. It was none other than Kyal Nesser, an outsider, who broke this vicious cycle. A bastard of the royal family of Valencia and next in line to lead the order as Cabal, the one at the end. It was Kyal who had long kept the fragment of chaos chaos at bay with his comrades, but in the end it was he who ran away. The elders, full of their scorn and hate, preached, the Black Star of Salvation has yet to descend, for there are those weak of faith. None but us, the souls who've endured through the tragedy of battle, can enter paradise, for Kayal has failed to wash away the blood of hypocrites. Forced once more to enter the bloodstained battlefield, Hashashin awaited salvation, yet doubts still remained for them. Why do the people of the war look upon it with disdain and call what the rest of the world knows as the Black Star as the Red Star? Once planted, the seed of doubt in the back of his mind could not be uprooted and only grew. Kayal's desertion, the existence of monsters, the meaning of salvation, the Black Star's identity, questioned the truth behind all of the teachings and scriptures of all. But his search for answers only led to more questions and festering doubt. It eventually spurred him to leave his life behind and stow away on a boat. Then a black energy, one whose red eyes glistened with glee and had been waiting by his side for so long, finally began to possess him. Hear me, as the bush needs water to grow and the flowers must be tended to before they wither, send your blessings of the holy sands before your servant dries to dust. A lost soul cries out into the night, the sands of the hourglass run thin, as the soul found no answer to the black star. With time running out, the soul's fleeting life seems certain to end. Let me overpower the certainty. Prayer finishes, a weakened hand clutching to his halidy refuses to let go. His armor of faith is cracked, yet still protects him from the void that awaits his demise. During Hashashin's awakening questline, he meets Kayal again, who refreshes his lost memories about their vows and desertion. He tells him to check out the legend behind Kunit's shelter for more information. Siamak, uh, once the trade manager of Rock Post, tells him that the reason no basilisk has ever attacked Kunit's shelter is because of the blessing of all spread by the Statue of Comfort underneath the villa. However, the statue is said to guard a gate, so perhaps the basilisks didn't so much attack for fear of the statue, but fear of what lies beyond the gate. It seems that Kunit and his associates are aware of the statue and the gate, and have plans to open the sealed gate in search of riches due to the the gate's name, the Gate of Paradise. However, upon talking to Kunid themselves, they say they have no interest in what lies beyond the gate and that they are plenty content with the fact that their name is on all of the maps now. Kunid also tells us that only the one who moves the Statue of Comfort may open the gates to paradise. Only the one who moves the Statue of Comfort may also seal the gates to paradise. Kunid asks us to kneel at the statue that is blessed by all and hear the revelation of all that normal people like them can't hear. As we do this, we see black snake wrapped around the statue and they say, be comfort and spend the rest of your time under all's blessing. The snake claims to be an avatar of all and tells you to open the gate of paradise. Then a pure divine voice taps his ear. All's faithful servant, what causes you to cry out in a place like this? Nourish yourself with my word, carry yourself back to the fortress and rest. Take comfort that your prayer has reached all. The words resonated with his lost soul. His mission to discover the truth of the Black Star had reached an unfortunate end, but to return to a fortress filled with those who deny the teachings, those old men who revel in the power they have over the servants of all. Perhaps he should obey the command and return to where his journey began and turn his brothers back to the true path and not that of the false leaders. Of all all's servants, I appeared for you, and in this apparition I reveal the truth. I am the truth, so return and pray, for there you shall fulfill the rest of your mission. If each of your deeds is a grain of sand, then you are the reason for the great desert. You have filled the space between Valencia and Medea with your heroics, and with these deeds you need to take comfort and spend 
spend the rest of your time under all's blessing. As Heshashin listened to these words, a lost soul began to reflect on the commandments of all. The first apostle, Barhan, took the words of all and committed them to scripture. The last apostle, Kuyal, spoke of the Black Star's fall and how it would open the doors to paradise to the north. However, the Black Star did fall in the west, yet paradise had not opened its shrouded gates. And in that moment, the mist in his mind began to fade and clarity was once more his. Stand aside, false herald, for those of pure intention would not speak with a serpent's tongue. In that moment, the ground around them shifted as thousands of sand-colored snakes slithered away, revealing a grand city in front of the soul and the herald. Take stock of your surroundings, servant. Your birthright surrounds you. Breathe in the city. Let it fill your very being. Worship me, and I will ensure that your blood sits on the throne of Valencia for the rest of time. The serpentine shadow whispers of a paradise filled with false hope. The soul was now fortified by the teachings of all. A serpentine shadow whispers of a paradise. The soul realized what it must do. The serpentine shadow whispers. The soul reached out. A servant hath had doom. With all on my side, I shall not falter. This servant is loyal only to all, and I must do what is within my power to best serve him. I am the blade of all, so prepare, foul creature, for today will be your last. And so Sashin fought and defeated the shadow of Ibidor, the serpent of Hadum, who had tried to trick him into opening the gate, and was granted by all a set of dual claves and the power of his defeated enemy to summon sand snakes. And that's it! Thank you so much for watching! If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or a comment. If you would like to be notified the next time I post a Black Desert Lore video, you can click that subscribe button and ring the bell. Thank you, as always, to my supporters. If you would also like to support the channel, links are in the description below. I hope to see you next time here in the library.